Everything you eat is either killing you or making you live longer. Okay, it's not that serious, but food obviously has a major impact on your overall health and longevity. In this video, I'm going to talk about the foods that are linked to increased mortality and lower life expectancy. Do it! The first food group is going to be fried foods, and that there is actually one very interesting study. It's obviously an epidemiological study, most of these studies are, but you know, it's still a good reference point for understanding what foods may increase the risk of mortality. So they took over 100,000 postmenopausal women aged 50 to 79. They followed these women for 18 years and found that uh, the total fried food consumption was uh, associated with increased mortality. So at least one serving per day of uh, fried food consumption was associated with a 13% higher risk of death from any cause compared to the women who didn't eat any fried food at all. Those women who ate fried food at least once a day also had 12% higher risk of cardiovascular death. Those women who chose fried fish or shellfish faced a 7% greater risk of death and 13% higher risk of cardiovascular death. So the women who ate fried chicken had the highest risk of death. Those women who ate fried fish had somewhat lower, maybe like half of the uh, risk of the, the uh, fried chicken group, but uh, it was still higher than no consumption of fried foods at all. So I don't think that is very like shocking. <laughs> Most people think that uh, processed food is unhealthy and fried food isn't considered a health food by any means. And there is also like other studies from 2019 as well showing that the ultra processed food consumption, which generally is fried, and of the fast food, it, it does increase the risk of death and increase the risk of diabetes and heart disease and all different kinds of chronic diseases. But there is also something specific about fried foods, which is the formation of these advanced glycation end products or advanced glycation lipid end products. So basically when protein or fats combine with uh, carbohydrates and sugars, then they cause this glycation that uh, is associated with increased mortality, increased heart disease and accelerated aging in terms of breaking down your skin collagen Advanced glycation end products are the number one thing that does break down your skin collagen and cause the wrinkles. So all the fried chicken, the donuts, the french fries, generally they are already glycated because the carbohydrates have been combined with these uh, oxidized oils and uh, they are treated and prepared in high temperatures that uh, promotes the glycation even further. Sucks! So if there is one food that is definitely not healthy and definitely speeds up your aging in many ways, then that's fried food. Whether that be fried chicken, fried fish, fried chicken nuggets, <laughs> fried fries, french fries, fried potatoes, fried meat even in uh, large amounts on, you know, these... Um, added in flour and added sugars, etc., they're all becoming glycated. Another 2017 study found that fried potato consumption was associated with higher mortality risk. Obviously, again, this is uh, not very specific or it doesn't control for all the variables. Fried potato consumption probably just means eating french fries and McDonald's. So that's the most common potato source of people nowadays. The fried potatoes in McDonald's generally have added oils, add, added seed oils, etc. that glycate those potatoes and glycate and make them much more unhealthy. If you just cook your potatoes in uh, water or just, you know, on the oven without added oils, then chances are it's uh, not that harmful. But if you just, you know, make it into fries, make it into french fries, deep fry the potatoes, and that's where the risk increases. But the type of fat and the type of oil you use to fry the food also apparently matters. So this uh, 2012 Spanish study, the consumption of fried foods wasn't associated with coronary heart disease or all-cause mortality because because in Spain they use olive oil or sunflower oil to use uh, or to cook the food in and the Spanish people do eat a lot of potatoes actually you know they are in this Mediterranean diet and potatoes are actually white one of the most commonly eaten foods in the Mediterranean diet the difference is that they cook the potatoes in olive oil or sunflower oil which is not harmful unlike uh, the uh, soybean oil or canola oil and olive oil actually can counteract the oxidation of lipids and can also protect against the Location. So if you ever fry any food, then make sure that it's either like olive oil, it could also be like coconut oil or these other fats that uh, have a high smoking point. 48% body fat. The next food group isn't specifically a food, it's uh, sugary beverages. So uh, soda and other kind of uh, beverages, drinks that have added sugar in them like Coca-Cola and Pepsi and even fruit juices. Consumption of sugary beverages, including fruit juices, is associated with all-cause mortality. The reason has to do with the high sugar content of these drinks 
that uh, can spike your blood sugar can increase the risk of diabetes and insulin resistance. And if you are drinking multiple of these sugary beverages every day, then that increases your risk of diabetes, which is associated with a shorter lifespan. A little bit of like natural juice is probably fine. Like if you drink one cup of freshly squeezed orange juice or something like that a day, then you are also getting like all the other vitamins and uh, more fiber from that uh, juice than you would get from this uh, store-bought uh, refined juice that usually actually has like no actual oranges in it. It just has added the sugar. But even then, I wouldn't drink like any more than one cup of uh, some sort of natural juice per day. The next food group is refined grains. So uh, white flour and these refined carbohydrates that uh, don't have any fiber and don't have any micronutrients. They're just going to have a very high glycemic index and spike your blood sugar. High intake of refined grains was associated with high risk of mortality and major cardiovascular disease events. And again, this is like an association study. People who eat a lot of refined grains usually get it from like the uh, hamburger bun. They get it from a croissant. They get it from pizza so these refined uh, carbohydrates you get them from different kinds of foods whole grain consumption actually is associated with reduced mortality so whole grains that have the fiber and cereal intact those are safe and uh, healthy for you but they're refined carbohydrates just because they're so refined and they spike your blood sugar and increase the risk of diabetes and insulin resistance that's what you should avoid <laughs> And the last food we're going to talk about is processed meat. So uh, processed meat, like sausages, bacon, and uh, these kinds of uh, prepackaged uh, meats. So this uh, 2021 study compared the effects of uh, unprocessed meat, like actual chicken meat and beef and uh, pork and those things with the processed meat. And they found unprocessed red meat and poultry intake had no significant associations with mortality or major uh, cardiovascular disease but a higher intake of processed meat was associated with a higher risk of mortality and major cardiovascular disease. So this is actually quite commonly known already. The World Health Organization has categorized processed meat a carcinogen. So uh, yeah, the bacon, the sausages that is usually packaged and uh, you know processed in some way, that can increase the risk of uh, colon cancer and uh, mortality. But when it comes to unprocessed meat, contrary to popular belief, then uh, it's not really associated with increased mortality. If you do want to slow down aging and live longer, then I am looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health at info.seamland.com and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.